On the 29th of February, we celebrated Rare Disease Day, and we're going to put our new head of global rare diseases, Giacomo Chiesi, to a little bit of a test. Rare Disease Day is not only important to Chiesi, but it's important for everyone. Uh, there are more than 300 million patients affected by rare diseases on the planet, which is obviously a lot of people. And uh, it's a sort of paradox. Uh, you hear about rare diseases and you think it's few. But in reality, as I said, there's more than 300 million. So uh, it's a societal problem. You know, I love numbers, but I think for us, uh, uh, the number of patients at Kiesi doesn't really count. Uh, what matters to us is uh, every single patient and uh, every single life. And we believe that all of the patients in the lives should be taken care of and, and served. And that's essentially why we are serving or deciding to serve the patients and, and make them our commitment for the future. But I guess the question, the really big question that is certainly on my mind is, how do you really, like, what's the approach that you're thinking of in terms of addressing the challenges, many of which we may not even know we're going to hit, right? I mean, right. What, what's 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 that mindset that you're using to, to tackle the challenges that we're going to run into? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, I think it's very personal, right? So I'm going to give you my honest personal perspective on this. For sure. And uh, I think there's three um, things that I can talk about. And so the first one that I spoke about is uh, um, courage. Um, every patient affected by a rare disease uh, has to have courage every day, yeah. essentially because every day the disease is taking away a part of your life. And patients uh, with rare diseases uh, are forged in the courage that they have to display every day. So we honor their struggle and we want to make sure that we are as courageous as they are mm -hmm. in fighting their, their diseases uh, as For we sure. go out and try and make a difference in their lives. Um, the second one that, I like to, that I'd like to speak about is passion. Okay. Passion is typically defined as an uncontrollable emotion yeah. and we want to make sure that we understand what the patient's emotions are and we want to put ourselves in their shoes to be able to serve them um, best. And then the last one is long-term commitment. Uh, Chiesi is a private family business mm -hmm. and therefore we go by generations yep. and we don't go by quarters yep. or quarterly reports uh, which bodes well with our long-term commitment to the patients in society and this is important because uh, it jives and it's coherent with our long-term uh, commitment to science and R&D, as well as with the fact that Kiesi is a B Corp. I want to focus on one specific term that came out quite a bit, right? And which is, okay. which is passion. You know, people throw around that word, you know, quite a bit actually. Um, it, but in terms of tangible things, um, what is, what does that actually embody for you? And how do you really think of implementing that and really, really making it something that's tangible at, at Kiesi? Talking about passion, uh, I'm passionate about staying fit. And so every morning when I wake up, uh, I, I train and I do uh, about one hour of calisthenics. So calisthenics is a form of physical training where you focus on learning how to master your body weight without the use of any equipment. So it takes uh, a lot of strength, uh, persistence and balance. And uh, it also is a place where the mind and the body come together to find new energy that you didn't know you had to be able to complete the exercise. So at Kiesi, I think we want to do a little bit of the same, right? Okay. Our mind, meaning our strategy for patients in rare diseases, and our body, meaning our organization and implementation, have to come together to display energy that we didn't know we had. And, uh, and we know it's going to be challenging to your previous point. We know it's going to be tough, but at the same time, we also know that by going out and being committed to the patients every single day, we're going to be able to find that strength, persistence, and balance to serve them to the best of our ability. Well, this has been fantastic. Um, I was certainly very inspired to look to hear all the different activities that are going on and how Kiesi is really building this patient-focused rare disease organization. Um, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts. And um, again, we're, we're going to really look forward keenly to what Kiesi rare disease can accomplish, not only in 2020 but also in the years in the years beyond. Yeah. Thanks so much, Amelia.